Hey, what's going on guys? This is Eric Broadus back again with another video. And for this one, I am going to shift gears from the military for a minute. And this video is going to be called The Artificial Womb. It's here. It's real. And guys, as you can see, I have a um, have a doll and have a, a, a baby blanket. I believe that might be either probably baby Mickey or something like that, you know, playing with a with a little car. But I'm just using that as an illustration um, for this video, the artificial womb. Now, um, myself and a close friend of mine, we watched uh, some video, a documentary on YouTube, probably about a, a couple of weeks ago, and. You know, I had just basically was watching it, you know, on, on TV. And so I just um, um, put the speaker in just to, and spoke into my um, remote and just said, you know, the artificial womb. Because I'd heard about it before. And so we we're watching this video with the artificial womb. And so basically in a um, nutshell, what they're trying to do is replace the woman and any female mammal of any species um, they're replacing them so they don't have to go through the gestation period and they can um, basically um, produce or carry a baby in a artificial womb and also give birth but for the sake I'm more I really want to focus on um, human beings now um, I was, I'm watching um, this video and so you know they show the obviously the artificial womb and the actual thumbnail on the video showed um one womb that was artificial with uh a sheep sheep embryo in there or a sheep fetus and then the other one showed uh, a human fetus that was inside this artificial womb now um while we're watching the video there were certain parts where i was like Ugh, this, i mean Maybe with a with an animal, I can kind of um, can kind of um, may, maybe not bothered really not bothered by it. But when you talk about um, uh, a human fetus, then it's like it kind of gets kind of a bit um, sickening, you know. But what they are um, doing is um, they're already testing this technology out. Um, it's, I believe it's in Sweden and also. In, in Japan and they have these laboratories and what they're doing they are were able to I guess somehow get um, uh, sperm and, and an egg you know and impregnate it and then just basically hold it uh, hold this um, embryo until it develops into a fetus inside this artificial womb kind of like an incubator going through a, a, a incubator process and what they were able to do is basically um, allow that embryo to turn into a fetus and that fetus to fully develop into an, an infant and basically a little human being but the more sickening part about it was when we were watching um, watching this video um, the plans and how they intend to go about it now um, there was one portion of the video where the um one the young lady was um had a like a, a FedEx or a UPS box and they had basically shipped the shipped the child um um UPS or FedEx now let me say this you know <laughs> disclaimer um cuz I, I was wondering at first hey is that a real you know infinite but um thankfully thank god you know it was just um um basically a prop of a baby but what their plans are is to be able to mass produce um, human beings and they're trying to dress it up and put it more off like yeah we just trying you know mass produce you know more of the the animal population but um, you guys y'all know the deal you know um, <laughs> I guess a little bit of sci-fi um, um, getting a little bit too much for its own good but um, they basically showed the box and, and it, it came in a UPS box and when she opened the box the um, the baby was in there and it came with a baby kit I mean 
um, some stuff I guess to for placenta and I mean just all of this this crazy nonsense and um, for an animal I wasn't really um, too bothered by that but just the thought of a, a human infant being shipped um, Federal Express you know to me that's kind of sickening and that's just my personal opinion I just think that um they're going a little bit too far because um, what that does you're basically dehumanizing um, an, an infant you know and then they had mentioned that some of the problems that the artificial womb for the human female what it would cause by her not carrying the baby and going through the gestation period it would make it um, difficult for the mother to bond with with the child because she didn't basically didn't didn't carry the child um, she did not bear the child you know um, even though it can be the uh, you know human sperm and the eggs of the father or the mother basically there's no tie or bond to it you know and on um, you know some cases I think that science can sometimes as men can go a little bit um, too far you know trying to play God you know for those of you if you even believe in God but it's like you know you kinda you I, I, in my personal opinion you can't um, ship a human being like it's a product you know a, a human being is, is totally different and then also you cannot breed human beings like you do animals you know you can't breed human beings like you do cattle it's just um, something's not exactly um, quite right about it you know but the reason that they are going to the artificial womb especially for human beings is because um, it's no secret um, there is um, all worldwide there is a, a mass problem with declining birth rates and having um, younger populations to replace the next generation and basically you guys know what this goes what this boils down to when governments and the elites are looking at it you know it's, it's more or less about money and and power and so you cannot have a society that can function and keep running if you don't have human beings um, constantly being replenished from one generation to the next that means that your social security for the next generation <laughs> I mean will be null and void because you don't have enough people working individuals basically to pay these taxes and to keep the system going and that's basically um, what it boils down to they're, they're very worried about the decline in um, human birth rates and this this is worldwide now some places is worse than others um, Japan is really bad they are they are really declining they have an aging population and they are seriously declining um, I believe there's a certain demographic of the pop 60% you know, I'm talking about a viable, healthy young men and women um, that set up virgins. You know, they and the men and women are not not dating. They're not coming together. And then um, places like the United States, Canada, Australia, Germany, um, Britain, and it's it's like I said, it's worldwide. They're having problems um, reproducing. They just women are just not, um, you know, having enough kids, and so they're seeking to be able to manufacture babies like a factory and to go along with that also they um, along with this process you can they're trying to go with designer babies where they are able to manipulate the um, DNA strands and you can pick which um, the best um, out of that DNA in those genes which genetic factors or um, qualities that you want to manifest in your kid so kind of like creating a superhuman. So if you want them, say for a guy, you want them to be, um, you want them um, six feet, six feet tall, um, a athletic or muscularly built. Um, you want them to be have these particular talents, music, sports, all this stuff. You know, for women, you want them um, built a certain way. I mean, everything they they can literally, you can actually like pick it, pick which characteristics or qualities. Um, out of those um, DNA strands in that gene, which ones you want to um, manifest, and that's basically um, what type of um, um, child or human being you'll have. You literally can pick. So, um, science has done a lot of great things, but it's just like, hmm, it's like, are they going a little bit too far? But it makes you wonder, you know, because um, 
when we watch these these movies and programs on TV, a lot of times we think that it's just um, fictional, but in actuality it's not. They're just basically um, softening softening the blow for what they're getting ready to introduce us to. And um, my nephew um, is in the field of of science, and he will be a scientist. Um, he's in the the top like one percent of brilliant minds. He's a genius. And so he, he deals with all of this different type of, of, of studies and, and, and feels like this. And he said this, this stuff is true. But they're just um, trying to keep it behind the scenes and trying to backdoor, um, backdoor it into human societies. And they say that this technology is supposed to be, I guess, um, what, introduced maybe like um, 20 years from now. But when I go... Um, on YouTube or Google it, the word on the street is supposed to be introduced in three to five. And like I said, the the labs are already here and they're already exper they're already doing it. It's just they're trying to figure out a way to introduce it to society without there being um, an an uproar. Because can can you imagine the uproar would be? You're gonna ship babies um, per FedEx, really? Or you know put infants you know in a box you know and so I think that um I think um science may be going just a, a tad bit um too far in trying to play God or tampering with the natural order of things but you know I don't know but I really hope that um when, when they bring this technology on I hope that it does work for the benefit of human society and not for um our detriment because anytime we get to tampering or or messing with um with, with nature with, with things that we were not intended to do, this just seems like something always seems to go wrong. But um, yeah, the the artificial womb, um, it it is real and um, <laughs> it's here and it's it's here to stay. And they're they're moving through um, technology and AI um, with these advancements um basically a baby manufacturing factory literally manufacturing manufacturing babies um i guess um what they have in mind i don't know exactly what else they intend to do but i imagine that there's more um to the story we just don't know the full scoop but you don't hear about it too much on mainstream media you know, I found a lot of this stuff out on um, social media and like like YouTube, but there's tons of um, videos on this stuff. Um, there's audio podcasts. I mean, there, there are tons. The, the artificial womb, but yes, yes, indeed, it is here, and they are seeking to replace the human female. They're seeking to replace it because like, the the women are just not um, giving birth to to an, an, enough children. They're, they're not, you know, so that's that's the deal with that but yes the artificial womb you know <laughs> what's next but that's basically all I have for um, this video but I just wanted to briefly touch on that just to give you something to think about and some food for thought and I'd like let's start the conversation and dialogue on this one and what I will do in the description of this video I'll just put in um, the artificial womb YouTube and you go on there and check it out for yourself. I don't know how many of you guys have heard about it, but it is definitely here. So, um, something that's coming, but word on the street is supposed to be, is um, supposedly they're going to try to bring it in in three to five years. But the lie, officially, they're saying, I think, like maybe 20, no later than, than 30, but that's a lie. With, with technology like that, if you already are producing, a, got to have a, um, a, a an unborn fetus, you've been growing inside an artificial womb already that means that it's already here and they're doing this in the last but yes i know there's that definitely a lab in in japan and i believe there's, there's one in sweden where they're already um working behind the scenes doing this stuff you know so they um they did produce a uh, a sheep through it you know and now they're um literally as we speak working with uh um with a hu human being a, a live human fetus but that's all I have for this video. The name of it again is The Artificial Womb. It's here. It's real. And so thanks, guys, for um, watching the video. Thanks for listening. 
and please subscribe to my channel please share it please um, hit the like button and if you don't like the video hey hit the unlike button and I would like for you guys to please leave a comment I would definitely love to hear you guys thoughts on this one and again my channel is Eric Brothers YouTube that's E R I C B R O A D U S YouTube or Eric Brothers YouTube.com either way and I have my um, audio podcast which is Snacks Thoughts S N A K Z T H O U G H T S Snacks Thoughts and you can find me on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes and other um audio podcast platforms Snacks Thoughts so please um go over there join subscribe and and share that share that podcast also you know I have um um other material or other topics that I that I, I talk about you know just kind of dialogue on but that's all I have. Um, thanks, guys, for your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.